So the kite runner. Now this sounds like a really happy childlike movie to me. Oh yeah, no. What what it is is a um, it's a travel log of Afghanistan. It's it's put out by the Afghanistani Tourism Board. Damn, and what's I'm that being like? completely sarcastic. <laughs> it <laughs> might have been the one that was around before the Taliban stepped in. Hey, hey man, look. Not that anybody would ever want to go to Afghanistan, but even if there's like one person, somebody who's from there, who the father always say, you have to go back to the homeland. They'll watch this and go, no, screw you, dad. I'll yeah. put some flowers on your tombstone and just tell you I went, but there ain't no way I'm going back there. And don't think this is a really political film. It's not. It's not. It's no. not. It, it is from the viewpoint of someone you was there before shit got all fucked up when it was a precious little uh Arabian Nights little area. You know what I mean? There's like rugs People on fly everywhere. Carpets everywhere. I know, right? It's it, <laughs> wearing, wearing, wearing curled up pointy shoes. There was there was an actual genie walking around. <laughs> Everybody knew the choreography. It, it was, was you know? it, it was like Aladdin. <laughs> yeah, almost exactly like yeah. Aladdin. It was no. great before the Taliban stepped in. And <laughs> so what's what exactly is this movie about? I'm because see, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm being dead serious here. I saw the book The Kite Runner before it even got popular. And because somebody was reading it, and mm. I saw that title, and I thought, "Oh, this is a children's book." Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I heard. Un- unless your uh, your idea of children's book involves sodomy. Yeah, I was going to say it lots of sodomy. Well, doesn't that, take long. I am writing a picture book, a pop up book about sodomy right now. I mean, and that's that's the thing where it just like it it hits you in the gut. It's just really? you know, when you're watching kids get raped like oh that. my god. So this, this is about raping kids. Oh Jesus, yeah, yeah. Well, at least I mean, partially. Yeah. It, it 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 happens early in the movie, and then it, later it comes back to it. Oh, you're bringing me down, man. What what is okay? I, so, it basically, it, you have the story. I I suppose it, it might center around if you have any central character it's the young kid of uh of a guy who's like well to do and um and he has um they have a servant you know the the father grew up with a, a guy who was in his family and his son and and the son of, of this guy they're, they're best friends but like the main character as a kid he's kind of a coward i mean he's a writer and the other kid is just completely loyal to him and would do anything for him fight his battles do whatever and um, it cost him. Yeah. Um, it be, and and the uh, and the main kid has a chance to step up and doesn't. And most of this movie is about times when he has a chance to step up and doesn't take them. The Russians come in and run them pretty much out of Afghanistan. And he's in America. He's become a writer. He's like ashamed of his father. It, it, the, the, the main yeah, character is almost boring, detestable man. to me. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he's, a, he's a coward, basically, in a lot of ways. And the film is about him eventually about stepping him, uh, up to yeah. be a man. And, yeah. what is, and what happens that he has to step up to be a man? He finds out that, golly, I don't you want to ruin you it. You can't say without can't say. you can't say the details of this Something without ruining happens. it. But he has to go to Taliban-occupied uh, Afghanistan, sneak in there to sneak someone out of there. Okay, and the Taliban don't play that shit. Taliban do not play that shit. For one thing, he doesn't have a beard, right? And I don't know if y'all knew this. I mean, I don't follow... I saw in the trailer, it was almost like a comedy. They put a, a, a they glued a beard on this guy. Yeah, they glued a beard on this guy, which, you know, like one the of the Taliban stages. guys immediately is like, dude, seriously, you don't think we've seen this shit before? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, but I mean, like, like if... I mean, they, they tell him right off, if you don't have a beard, they will kill you. Yeah, they'll just kill you at the border, you know, trying to get in. They will shoot if your If you ass. don't have a beard? Yes. Yeah. Because it's part of their religious, you know, doctrine that you have a beard. So you walk in there without a beard, off with your head. <laughs> you acting all surprised, like, what? The Taliban? Really? Are they, are they really that crazy? I thought these were <laughs> sensible people. So, <laughs> so, damn, we just doomed ourselves right there. Uh, so you can't go in with like one of those uh, rubber band beards, <laughs> like no, like they... you put the strap around your face <laughs> and like you could pull it down at any time. You got to get the Hollywood quality shit. You pretty much got to be uh, Arab spy from L.A. So you got to have like there. like Rick Baker do your shit before you go pretty in much, Afghanistan. Yeah, you, yeah, you can't go in there all. Oh brother, where are you? And you got to be smelling bad and the full deal. You know, just pretty Damn. much what you picture the Taliban. Okay. Yeah. We're yeah. just raping anything that comes near you, whatever. But hey, but <laughs> if you like stoning women as a, as a sport. That's the place to go. This is your movie if you like that. So if you like sodomizing children, stoning women, you know, that sort of thing, this is you're going to love this. Wow. You know, it just dawned on me right now. The Taliban's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, damn. You know, I knew that they were messed up before, but shit. I mean, yeah. forget, forget stoning women and raping children. I got to grow a beard? <laughs> he just got the 411. Or should I say... Oh, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, it obviously it has something to do with the movie. I, I no, no, no. I, I said you just got the 411 on that. Oh, or should say I say? Man, oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't, on, you dare, don't you dare. Don't you even. On. No, but okay. I, I just want to say I support our troops. <laughs> yes. No, so this movie, uh, uh, somewhat of a downer then. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, it's hopeful at the end. 
I mean, you know, it's all about this guy finally at some point growing some balls and stepping up and doing the right thing. And he does. And, it, and you know, it, it's good that that happens. Um, and it's not all misery and drudgery up to that point. But there is just there's just like this this feeling of holding your breath through so much of it. And just even with this guy, when they get to America with his dad, he's a character who I just found I didn't like, Mm -hmm. which is, I suppose, the way you're supposed to feel about him. And I really I like this movie a whole lot. So definitely full price. I'm I'm going to say full price. And I know some people will you'll say it was slow. It was bull and they might have been bored. I I never was in it. I'm one of those people. Right. I I was I was kind of bored by this, to be honest. Uh And I think a lot of it has to do with I mean, I've read part of the book. I just kind of paged through it a little bit. I have it. And the dialogue, it's it's really well written. It's who wrote this book? I I can't remember the name. It's some Abdu. Who gets like a book? (laughs) Throw some silverware on the floor. (laughs) (laughs) You get this idea. Yeah, but it's you. I expected it to look as beautiful in many ways, to be filmed as beautiful as as the book is, and I just I didn't get that. It's actually kind of workmanlike. It, it just kind of bored me. It's it's not that the story was unoriginal or anything like that. I mean, supposedly it's autobiographical, although I guess we don't really know. Uh, but I just I didn't find it all that interesting. Even the rape scene wasn't really that emotionally affecting for me on the whole okay. because it didn't connect of these as real characters to me in the way the film was telling the story. Damn, so raping children doesn't affect you? Oh, dude, you know how many movies I have just on my shelf that are just all about ba- there's raping children all one right, through all right. volumes you, through You know 26. how he needs a money shot. Oh, of yeah. course. I'm I sorry. need require yeah. the money shot. I, I forgot who I'm talking to here. So, <laughs> so we so got a little fat kid. That's not even uh, tight. Uh, oh, come, <laughs> come on. Damn, man. come on, man. Damn. Well, you say a little fat kid ain't attractive. Uh, <laughs> so, full price for you. Yes. And for you. I'm exaggerating, really. It wasn't a bad movie at all. It just wasn't really my cup of tea. So, I'm just giving it a matinee. Matinee. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's not too bad. All right. Not to come off as Captain Insensitive here. No, you just don't mind looking at little kids get raped. You probably went there with like like one of those those foam gloves with a number one hand on it. Yeah, <laughs> rape, 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 rape another one. <laughs> get his friend. Oh, He's dude. hiding around the corner. <laughs> they stole a woman on three. Oh, I, I'm check that out next. But yeah. I want to finish watching the rape first. <laughs> as soon as I put my fake beard on. Damn. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I just I keep picturing this dude going into Afghanistan, looking like one of the Three Stooges with <laughs> with a fake beard on. They're like, "Hey, wait a minute." <laughs> yeah, it's, he goes in there. He's like Bugs Bunny, kisses one of the guys. Like, <laughs> yeah. What's up, Doc? <laughs> please, please let South Park do something on Skyline. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh God, I would love to see that.